So what do we got here? Well, it's the new iStick 50 watt. Um, and I figured I'd do a quick video here. Hopefully it'll be relatively quick um, regarding how this device works. There's been some debate on a lot of the forums and stuff uh, regarding the regulation that this particular uh, mod uses. Um, this isn't necessarily a review of the device. I, I do like it. I think it's built relatively well. It's got a nice screen. Um, but the, the real question with this 50 watt is, is it any different than the 20 and 30 watt? And I want to say yes. Uh, I want to say that this now includes um, a DC to DC converter. It appears to include that. Um, and it also still makes use of PWM. And uh, I've got it hooked up here to um, just have some leads screwed on here. Um, and then I have this plugged into a multimeter and uh, my little portable scope here. And we're going to take a look and see how this device um, operates at different voltages and different wattages and stuff like that. Just to give you an idea of how it works. Because it, I do think it is a little bit different um, than the 20 and 30 watts in a way that uh, certainly would make the vape experience a little bit different. So the first thing I noticed with this device is if I turn this uh, voltage, let's say turn it down to 2.7, and I have a... Uh, just another, uh, I think it's a one point, eh, let's see, what does it say it is? 1.5 ohms. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the fluke says. Output stage, okay, 1.46. So, we do have a load on it. And what I'm going to do is fire it um, at 2.7 volts. And we're going to see what we get voltage wise and we're going to see what the uh, regulation looks like we're going to see you know what it uses is it a dc to dc is it pwm so let's let's go ahead i'm going to hit the button here so there you can see we're getting 1.7 volts um and that's rms the uh, fluke is a true rms uh, multimeter um so it's a relatively square wave though as you can see there, so this is pulse width modulation. We've got uh, two volts per division on the scope right now, 10 milliseconds. So, you know, um, this is a pretty basic scope, so it's not going to tell me duty cycle and all that good stuff. But you can see that it is using pulse width modulation um, at about four volts, it looks like. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this up. And we're going to go ahead and turn it up to like 3.9. Yeah, maybe four. And let's go ahead and see. I have my trigger level set at about 1.8 volts there. So let me hit the button again. Okay. So there you can see our pulse width is um, still around four volts. And we're at nearly 100% duty cycle there. Probably, you know, 96% or something like that. And we're getting 3.68. Now there is going to be some voltage drop in these leads. They're you know, certainly not sized appropriately for this, but they're not going to affect uh, what we're seeing on the scope and stuff like that. So now what I'm going to do is turn it up a little bit higher. And we're going to go 4.5 because that appears to be higher than what it's uh, running the pulse width modulation at. Uh, so as you can see here, we have two two volts per division. This is this is still what we were looking at when I had it set to four volts. So we're right about four volts there. So now it's at 4.5 and let's see what we get here. Oh. Interesting. So you can see there was a pretty abrupt change there. Something different is happening. Uh, we're not seeing any pulse width modulation. It's still at 10 milliseconds per division there. And our voltmeter is saying 4.38. So probably not too far off considering the voltage drop in these leads. But you can see we've moved from pulse width modulation to now what appears to be Um, a DC to DC. So let's turn it up a little bit more. Let's say 5.4 and see what that looks like. Okay, there you can see the ramp up for the um, boost converter. And we are getting 5.2, 5.3 volts there. So it's definitely using both pulse width and DC to DC.